Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your lovely host, Toki Sasson. Today, we are here, well I'm here most, I'm here to be honest, to review the SA figure art, Smile of Morales from Spider-Man across from the Spider-Verse. And one of my thoughts on the movie. I, I thought it was bad, okay. For real though, I actually enjoyed the movie. Yes, it's overhyped, but I had a fun time watching it because around that same week, I watched Shin Kamen Rider and uh, I already made videos playing my full on thoughts of how I felt about the, how I felt about that movie because my experience of watching that movie was horrible and uh, don't, uh, don't ever want to go through that again, just saying. But yeah, Call for Spider Verse, it made it to exceed my expectations, but the one thing I didn't like about it, which, which, which I won't spoil due to reason, but yeah. My my Graven movie, I think I think I give it a eight point nine out of ten. I think so because that's my grade for the movie. But yeah, the movie's good. So go watch it. We had a chance to come out this movie. This this movie well made me buy <laughs> this guy. Now you gotta ask Goku why did, why do you not buy the Marvel Legends version, Mile? Here's the thing. The Marvel Legend version of Coffin and Spider Verse figure looked like a complete doo doo. Except for Spot, Hobie, and 2099. That's it. The other ones look like a complete doo doo. And I just said, nah, nah, I need a, nah, I just, nah, I need an import version. I need one, I need a, I need a figure that's like premium perfection. That is, that's the good stuff. <laughs> I bought the figure art. <laughs> Cause that, cause that, was like, that was like my second option. Well, my only option though. So yeah. Not a Marvel Legends fan. Just to tell you guys that. But yeah. But anyway. We are here with Miles. We're going to talk about the good and the bad. Okay so, okay. so let's talk about the bad first. For those that don't know. This figure has issue with his legs. Because. Newsflash. These legs are so easy to break. Like, they literally are so easy to break. And that's a problem. His arms are as well. You keep doing this and it will snap. Like, his, uh, his ab, his ab crunch is, this is how far his ab crunch go. Kind of, kind of meh, but at the same time, it's all right. I wish, I really, I really do wish that uh, they, they made the figure more buffer, because in the movie, Miles was skinny, yeah, but at the same time, he got, he put on a little bit more buff, a little more, a little bit more weight, you can say, because in the movie, he was a little, movie, he, he, he was a little bit, he, in the movie, his suit looked a little bit more buff, but here, the figure, he looked like a freaking Slim Jim, Slim Jim, walking Slender Man motherfucker. And, uh, nah, I don't want to see that in my Spider Man. Also, this guy, also, no offense, this guy can't stand for shit. Because this past whole week, every time I'm in my business, this fucker falls down so many times, it got on my nerves. Literally, it got on my nerves. <sighs> but yes, you can't pose him. You just gotta be very gentle with how you pose his legs. And the best thing about this guy, he comes with a stand. And I love that. Now, Fadoka asked me, Boku, what is the difference between this and the Vent exclusive version? Oh. Nothing, actually. I mean, like, goddamn it. <laughs> I mean, like, nothing. I mean, like, nothing different between both of them. The only, the only thing that different this. Those were the Japanese. Those were the Japanese releases that came out well early because it was, it was, it was a, it was like what, it was like what a New York Comic Con or something, and that's basically it. That's basically it, though. 
But hey, I never. Hey, I know. Hey, I, I never got. I never got those because, to be fair with you, they aren't even. <laughs> great. Great. Fuck his legs, acting weird. That's my next thing I want to talk about. His legs. <laughs> this is how far his legs go. It's so easy to break these. I'm so scared. And that that's my only gripe with this figure. It's, this is how far his legs go for this. And for this. And the well. Yeah. Tamashi, I really did wish you guys did. I really did wish you guys made this figure a little bit more buffer because it's so it's so easy to break this guy and that and yeah, I'll be so mad. I would be mad, I'd be disappointed though. But yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So let's go on to accessories because oh boy, I got a lot to say about the accessories for this guy. Yeah, back up saying the only difference the only difference between this and the exclusive one that came out this year is this. It's just it's just it's just an early release and that's pretty much it. Oh boy. So Look at the elephant out of the room. Here are his, here is here is here is the web that he had. Well, you could see mine broke. What happened, Broku? Well, playing off my my business and the thing was pretty weak and uh, it snapped on me. Here are his webs you can use for his hand, which which after I'm done with, which after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna put him in that pose forever. Here are his, well, here are his wall crawling hands. Here are another set of wall crawling hands. Well, I'm calling these free fall hands because these are the hands that he used for that kind of pose in the trailer. Well, in the trailer, mostly. God damn, my freaking dog. Not in the trailer, mostly in the poster too. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Excuse my dog. Please forgive me on that. And here are his rep dripping hands. His... <laughs> okay. Here are his. Here are his uh, grab hands you can use for, well, here are his grab hands you can use for the webs. And here's a neck pack for the Miles heads. And here are the Miles heads. Now, uh, here's a funny thing about the head. You see this? This is the peg. What happened? This got stuck to it when I first attached it. When I first attach it to it, so so the peg is stuck on this Miles head. I had no idea how to get it out. Great. Here's the other Miles head. I love the fact that yeah, he has one that is serious and one that isn't. These look like it. Someone look like Miles, Miles from the movie, but uh, well, thief, well, this look way right better than Hasbro's fake recognition. Just saying. Sorry, Hasbro, you guys just aren't the best for that. Anyway, here are his eyes. You can swap out. You can uh, well swap out and replace with. Well, like this. Oh my God. You, you can make it say, wait, what? <laughs> I love that. I love that. I, I love that. I love that. I love the fact that uh, they 
they thought about that. Well, they they did. But you know what I mean. It's genius, what I'm trying to say. Now, on to size comparison. I hope we all compare them, too. And since this is a, well, a Spider-Man video, I thought it'd be accurate that I compare them to the last Spider-Man figure that I reviewed on the channel that was last year, and that was the Mezco Symbiote Spider-Man. <laughs> he, 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 he is a little bit shorter than him. And here is the SH figure engraved Super Spider-Man from Far From Home. And no, this isn't no, this isn't the premium Bandai version of the greatest suit. Because I don't care for that figure. The only difference between that figure and the one that I have is well, the hands. And uh, the hands are in and the hands are well inaccurate. If I had Trainer Nine right now, he would beat the F out of me. Must have got no. Out of Tom and my host for for both messing up the most both for both messing up the timeline can events. He hates Miguel hates this Miguel hates this Spider Man with Bernie Passion, but he hates Miles more. And for those that saying for those that say that Miguel's racist, no he isn't racist because he Miles is Afro Latino, but yes, but guess what? Miguel M Miguel Harold's also Latino as well. The main reason, the main reason why Miguel hated Miles in the movie because Miles was messed up the timeline and Miguel was not having it. Oh, okay, that's what's wrong. Again, I told you this figure, this figure did not want to stand. Okay, okay, let's move these two on the way. Here he is with the SH figure Venom. He's a beefy boy. I still got to, I still gotta do a video on this fucker one day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He here with the Marvel Legend Miles, so well, invisible Miles from well from the PS4 plus PS5 game and PC game. Basically the insomnia Miles. Alright. Here he is with the Marvel Legend Wolverine. Here with the Marvel Legends uh, Retro Symbiote Spider-Man. Why did why we not hold? Stand still. And for those who want to know, yes, I do have Spider Gwen and Miguel on pre-order. I'm getting Spider Gwen actually this this month, well next month in fact. My Miguel, I won't get him till like, I won't be I won't get him till the beginning of January, beginning of next year. Why? I I pre-ordered the US release, so there's also, so there's also that too. Yep, I want to support the official release, and yeah. So this last figure, <laughs> he isn't a Spider-Man character, but uh, fuck it, why not? He's a it's a meme when when he came out, he was Spider-Man. Here here we have well, Comrade Spider-Man. Okay, here we have Comrade Demons and uh. He stand pretty well with him, not gonna lie. And now, uh, yeah, what are my thoughts? This figure! Okay. He's in my top 10 for sure for this year. Don't get me wrong. But, uh. Can't lie by saying this figure is not, not that bad. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's the stand that he comes with. Where are that? He comes he come with his come, come own custom stand right here. And then, yeah. Okay, fucking great. But yeah, this figure is, uh... This figure is, uh, well... He isn't bad, but I really did wish that, uh, he wasn't skinny, because... Again, it's so easy to break his legs, and the, ab and the ab articulation is horrendously bad. 
The arms are like noodles, are so easy to break. This figure is probably the most easy figure to break within five seconds once you get it. And I, I'm actually pretty lucky and grateful that I didn't do that. Because, well, I care for my figures, just saying. But yeah, <sighs> I'll say this. If you if you don't want the Marvel Legends version, you know this guy is a good this guy this guy is a second good alternative. But if you don't want to pay import fight if, if you don't want to pay like import import prices for him, that's totally fair. I'll say this. You, I want to say this though. Marvel Legends are are now at the same price as import figures. The No Way Home Street Pack it's the exact same price for one SA figure, Toby. Same for, same for Andrew as well. Because Marvel Legends are now $30, but at the same time, they're at the same price of an SA figure, Dragon Ball figure you can buy off Amazon. Just saying. But yeah, if you don't want this guy, there's always the Mayfax. Not Mayfax, always the Marvel Legends. But if you don't want any of them, <laughs> I'll just say, I'll say, say this. If you have the, if you have the Sentinel, or Mayfax Miles from the first movie. Keep that as your definitive Miles in your collection. Because this, because, because that, because those two are good figures. Well, the Mayfax version of Miles look a little bit weird, but the Sentinel version I heard a lot of good things about. But, uh, but yeah. Overall, overall, this guy is, this guy is, this guy is, well, my definitive Miles in my collection. And, uh, so happy to have him. Can't wait to get Gwen because I heard I heard a lot of good things about her and she's gonna be so fun taking pictures with. Miguel, hope oh, Miguel can be so fun. But uh yeah, overall yeah, overall this uh this has been Pokusatsu. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media in the description and follow my Twitch account, twitch.tv at Pokusatsu fifteen. I will be live streaming this Friday. We'll be having we'll be having like another chill relaxed stream. Talking about toy photography, Toku and other stuff. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. My name is Aaron, and I'm out. Enjoy the pictures. Bye. I didn't show the stand, but he had the stand right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Forgive that crazy pose I'm doing. But yeah. Hello, uh, I had an error in my video. So, I said in my video that, uh, there's, there, there's not a difference between that and, uh, and the other version that came out this year. I call it a vent exclusive version. I meant to say, what I meant, <laughs> got the minute, hold on. What I meant to say is, there is a version between that and the World Tour version of Miles that came out this year. It's the exact same figure. Let me see Amazing View, for example. Okay, this is an ad. But the only difference is that it just had different stands. And that's it. The stand is just different. Everything else about the figure is the exact same. Just the stand is different colors. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so here's the difference between this and the, well... Uh, regular version that I have. I did an error saying that, uh, <laughs> I did an error saying that there, there, there's no, nothing different about it, except for this. This comes with the world, world tour version. I got the regular version, that's basically only different, but, uh, yeah.